it can be hard to understand social constructs when you grow up in that society. So it's a good idea to look at how other societies treat a type of person or a thing or a concept, and it's useful to look back and see where your society came from. So let's go back to the 1500s when Europeans began their genocide of North American native people. Before Europeans came, there really wasn't a word for disability in these indigenous tribes. They had similar beliefs with little differences. The Navajo believed that improper couplings like incest could result in physical disabilities. The Apache people believed that eating certain things at wrong times could cause mobility and speech problems. The Hopi believed that injuring animals without repenting could result in disfigured children. What they all had in common was that the cure for this wasn't to fix the body or necessarily the disabled person. It was to make amends for the reason that disability happened in the first place. This would be taken care of in a religious manner, and after that, the person could be integrated in society normally. Native Americans believe in a sort of fate that you're born with the body you're meant to have, there's a reason for it, good and evil are more of an Abrahamic idea, and that contributing to a society didn't mean labor necessarily. It could. Contributing to society was more than just what you could produce, it was what you can offer. So that includes spirituality, art, music, and so on. As I said before, there are different tribes, believe different things, but they also spoke different languages, and so an easy way for them to communicate and trade with each other is through sign language. The most widely known spread across the Great Plains, from North Saskatchewan River to the Rio Grande, and then the Rocky Mountains to the Mississippi-Missouri Valley. We call it PISL, Plains Indian Sign Language. Europeans still believed that deaf people were unintelligent and less than human, so they regarded this language as unintelligent and less than human, but they took advantage of it, participating themselves even though they found it unsophisticated. It's at the same time that the Spanish Benedictine monk Pedro Ponce de Leon was just beginning to argue that deaf people could be educated. So what the colonizers thought was primitive was actually before their time. European people had a great effect on the ability of the native tribes. They disproportionately killed disabled people, but they also disproportionately created disabled people. Then, to make matters worse, they made concerted efforts to destroy their culture and implement European culture. Meaning, in this instance, that asylums were built and disabled people were sent to them, native people included. When they were institutionalized, things like their hair was cut, which native people described as traumatic because of the spiritual meaning behind their hair. They were also forced into what today would be prison labor, a sort of soft slavery. All the so-called patients were treated the same, so the slavery wasn't based on race, but because they were disproportionately disabled, they disproportionately were the ones enslaved. 